this is a big day because we have an old engine returning back to Sodor. Well, as long as it's not the idiot from yesterday, I'm good. <laughs> He needs to go. I cannot believe we're having this conversation about Sandy. I mean, this is a more of a terrible idea than that game we fought up last week. It's time to play Who Stole the Drugs? Was it me? Was it me? I think it was him. <laughs> Fucking pink fairies everywhere. Why do you do this whenever you get new news? Well, at least he didn't throw bricks and stones at us like last time. Good morning, everyone. Wake up. <laughs> you know, Gordon. If you're so full of yourself, why don't you have two tenders? Well, that didn't go well for my brother. Come on, Scotsman, it's cold outside and we want the door shut! I'm coming, I'm coming! Oh, crap. Gordon, out of all the things you've done, this is the most stupidest thing you ever did. I've done worse. Remember that time I told Marvin to collect my coaches? This is going just as well as Gordon trying to get up his own heel. Come on! Yeah. Uh, come on! Come on! Uh, come on! Uh. Well, Doc, I've made it, despite you living on the branch line. Ah, Gordon, welcome! I hope you're looking forward to our meeting. Mm. Oh sweet Jesus, my roast is ruined! But what if I was to purchase fast food and disguise it as my own cooking? <laughs> Delightfully devilish, Montague. Eh, Montague! Gordon, I was just uh, stretching my wheels on the wind as well. Important exercise. Care to join me? Why is there smoke coming out of that truck, Doc? Oh no, that isn't smoke. It's steam. Steam from the steam clams we'll be having. Mmm, steam clams. Well, Gordon, I hope you're hungry for mouth-watering hamburgers. I thought we were having steam clams. Oh no, I said steamed hams. That's what I call hamburgers. You call hamburgers steamed hams? Yes, it's a regional dialect. Uh-huh. What region? Um, Sudrian. Really? Because I've been here for 85 years and I've never heard the phrase steamed hams. Oh no, not anymore. It's commonly used on the Little Western. I see. You know, these burgers appear to be quite similar to the ones at Fat Hat's Burgers. Oh, oh no, Patents and Duck Burgers. Old Great Western Recipe. Four steamed hams. Yes, I just steamed them out of my firebox this morning. <clears throat> yeah, so you call them steamed hams despite the fact that knives consume human food. Well, I suppose that sound of little far-fetched... Excuse me for a second. Of course. Hoo wee, that was wonderful. Good time was had by all. I'm pooped. Yes, I should be. Good lord, what is happening in there? A good YouTube Thomas series. A, a good YouTube Thomas series. So decently written with interesting cast of characters and original jokes being shown in the back of your sheds. Yes. May I see it? No. Duke, the sheds are on fire. No, Donald, that's just YouTube going haywire. Well, Doc, you're strange, tank engine, but I must say, you steam a good ham. So, Toby, how come it didn't work with you and Daisy? Yeah, weren't you looking at her as if she was eye candy? Well, at first she was, until we became a couple, that is. She started to just argue with me about her swerves and how everything is bad for it, which would get us both into a lot of fights. Have you ever argued with a woman in the middle of the yard that you no longer feel safe? Now, when Daisy gets mad, she starts talking in third person, and that's scary as hell because that's a way of telling me, from this point on, she's not responsible for her actions. Like she could forget for five minutes and start yelling at me. See, Toby, you know what your problem is? You think Daisy's crazy, do you? But baby, I thought you was Daisy. See? See, you think she playing? Wait a minute now. 
She's one of the women that gets mad, she gets evil. It's like someone pushed the devil button. She just snapped. And it got to the point I couldn't argue with her face to face. I had to do it on the phone. And I told her, look, I'm not coming home until you know how to speak to me like a grown man. When you do that, then I'll come home. Until then, I kept driving down the branch line. Well, you know what, Toby? Drive the branch, cause I can't stand you little square behind. You know what? I hope you drive too fast and your brakes get jammed and you start to speed up and you go around a tight bend and you land in a field hitting your head on a fence and the back of your brains fall out into a big pool of blood and a bunch of birds will swoop down and start pecking at the damn blood and your eyes will still be open so you know what's going on! What the hell? The hell you say to that woman? Was that the third person? Put Daisy on the damn phone. You know how you know that you've rushed a fight to your woman when the police arrive and ask you Do you want to press charges? Because Harold was so concerned when he saw me, he was like Oh my god, Toby, do you want to press charges? What are you talking about? You should be asking her that. From the looks of things, no I don't. Look at your face! And she was in the background going Yes, Daisy beat his ass. Didn't she? She beat his ass. Okay, who the hell is Daisy, and how many of them is there? It's her, sir. She's just talking third person from time to time. Look, let me explain something to you. You're a grown wooden man, alright? Nobody should put their hands on you like this. Nobody! Now if you don't press charges, then she's going to do this same damn thing again. For God's sake, look at your face! Now, do you have a place you can stay tonight? Yeah, I guess. I could sleep at my old shed. Good. You need to pack your bag. Matter of fact, I'm gonna come with you, so she don't attack you again. Because we don't want this to happen again. You're going to lock me up? You think you're going to lock Daisy up? Why would you do that, Toby? Why? Why? Look at my face! Sounds like Mavis didn't have a good time at dogs. Well, Bobby, it's my time to shine. I'll go and talk to her. Actually, wait for a bit. Mavis can be a bit hostile when she's angry. We'll be fighting Mavis! I'd be careful. Bring it on! Okay, Mavis. <laughs> <laughs> and why aren't we at Tidmouth Sheds? Oh, the Tender Rangers kicked us out. Greetings, fellow Tender Rangers, and welcome to Tender Rangers United. I thought it was a secret Tender Club. James, if you were here last week, you would have known the reason why we changed it. So, why did we change it? Because the secret tender club is meant to be secret, and since we're pretty much open for any tender agents to join us, we had to change it. Now for tonight's topic, is Donald Trump and George W. Bush the same person? Well, she seems a bit eager now. Yeah, I wonder if she would have any trouble with the trucks. Oh, you mean like how you did? Oh, Doug, you should try this. This is the finest Welsh coal. Thomas, this is regular coal. You son of a... You should have seen the yards when I got back. All right, Percy, you can go n- Oh my god, what have you done? Go 999! Um, Adam, where's Toby and Martha? I told them they could return back to Farquhar as I take over their jobs. And it's a good thing too, as it was a state when I got here. Toby, can you bring me that truck over there, please? Sure thing. No, not that one! Over there, right behind you! I can see it from here, you moron! Where? Where? I, I can't see it. Where? Where? Just there, you stupid fool! Brilliant! Let's see him there! I've got a bad feeling about this, Toad. You're right, Mr. Oliver. This is almost as bad as the time when Mr. Percy tried to create a fast way to deliver the mail. Okay, Toby, light me up! <laughs> I got this. After all, they're not the first engine I had to babysit. Alright, Percy. Time to sleep. I don't want to go to sleep. <laughs> Percy! Go. 
to sleep. Good, because if you don't, Emily will have a meltdown. And she will be louder than Dowager Hat falling down the stairs. Lord Jesus Christ, help me Lord, please Jesus, please. Oh, 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 oh. Jesus Christ, help me Lord, Jesus, help me. I've fallen down the steps. Oh Lord Jesus, please. Oh, 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 oh. My shoe. Oh Lord Jesus Christ, help me. I'm halfway down now. Help me Lord Jesus, please. Jane, my mum fell down the steps again. What's wrong, Dowager? I fell down the steps. Ah! Dowager fell down the steps. Dowager fell down the steps. Stephen, go and get your great-grandmother something cool for her head. What happened? She fell down the steps. <laughs> hey, Bridget. Great-grandma fell down the stairs. Great-grandma fell down the stairs. <laughs> oh! <sighs> I do like some quiet work for a change. It's more peaceful than running from one end to the island and back again. Golden, are you shunting? Hey, wait, um, how long have you been there? Enough to see that you like shunting. No, wait, I was just teaching these trucks a lesson. Oh, I see. Well, anyway, you really are a strong engine, Golden. Really? Well, uh, f thank you. And you're so fast. I don't know what's better, your speed record or your coaches. Oh, Henry, what... What do you want? <laughs> Busted. I may have oversleep from pulling the flying kipper last night, and there may be a few ghost trains I need your help with. I know it! Gordon, please, remember that alliance we formed together? With your strength, you can help me get back to schedule. I already told you, I don't like pulling those difficult goods trains. Always causing accidents and getting us in trouble. It's not worth the trouble. Gordon, please. So Tottenham Hat would be mad if I don't get all my jobs done on time. I won't do it. Gordon? No! <sighs> Very well then. You leave me no choice. I'll have to use it. I'm super prepared for it this time. Do you really think yourself strong enough to resist me? Hey, what are you d doing? I'll tell you the truth, Gordon. I know what you're feeling for me, and I'm crazy about you too. But being the first freight engine on Sodor, it would be remiss of me to continue my duties when I can't even complete all of my jobs for the day. How about you spend the rest of the day helping me with my freight work, and in return, the feeling of my burning heart lips pressed passionately against yours. Henry, are you telling me the honest truth? Nothing else, Gordon. You made a mistake on your schedule on purpose, didn't you? Perhaps. Um, Gordon, you okay, buddy? Can't talk in the zone. Oh, do you think Bill and Ben were all right on their own? Hey, Bill, catch! What the f? I'm sure they were responsible. Oh, nonsense, Thomas. We'll look after the line. Really? Because you remember the last time I trusted you. All right, here we are at our final destination. Oh, so that means. Where did Percy take all the passengers? Like how Rosie likes everything to be in order. Step away from that truck. Put the truck back. Step away. Can't we just ask Lady to fight this for us? Ah, well, we may have had a falling out. What? How? That was fun, running away from Diesel 10. Yeah, let's not make it a habit. <laughs> okay, so where are you off to now? Well, someone has to look after the Magic Railroad. Oh, will I see you again? I'll be around. Whoa, what are you doing? Oh, I just thought it was a kitten scene. You think just because you ran away with me means you can just make out with me? Well, I am the number one engine. Yeah, I'm gonna go. Can I see you sometimes? No! Thomas, you doomed us all! 